hello guys so today we're going to see how to declare the local variable see normally here I am using the razor view so razor view uh, almost uh, it is most dependent on uh, the C sharp uh, code it is not like uh, the ASP.NET uh, how the pages works normally so ASPX page normally uh, you need to uh, declare the controller and you need to uh, uh, map that uh, controller by adding uh, or you need to call from the backend dot, uh, dot CSS file. So this is what the before versions. But you may see how the different uh, stuffs uh, actually. So you can bind the data uh, through model uh, into the view. So view is uh, also the like a part of the C shop. In the C shop, you you have the option to add HTML kind of uh, stuffs only the razor introduced. So here we're going to see how to declare the variable uh, in a razor view. So normally we will uh, we will. Uh, Declare some variable okay in a code level uh, like a string I'll show you an example what I'm trying to see like this I, uh, I will uh, declare the variable and this variable I can able to call it anywhere so uh, like um, see uh, I want to um, write uh, some string okay it's a uh, okay uh, so if I'm uh, trying to um, add this go free launcher in a string variable and I can use it anywhere so how this uh, normally uh, how to implement in a razor view so okay today we're going to see this uh, so here I have a uh, something called okay I just give some meaningful name so this is uh, the brand name of uh, my channel okay this is what the text go freelancer okay so if I refresh uh, you will get to uh, get this okay so this uh, text I want to uh, declare like a local variable and I want to replicate and use in wherever want see here uh, see if I want to uh, replicate uh, with the h2 tag okay okay so again I need to copy paste uh, this go freelancer okay normally uh, this uh, makes uh, more annoying and uh, it's take a, a bit of uh, taking the uh, time from the developer so uh, for that uh, we will use common uh, declare on a common local variable and we will assign it and we will reuse it everywhere so that is what we are going to do in a razor view so how to achieve that so there is a way uh, you, you can uh, see this uh, add rate symbol and uh, open and uh, bracket so here this uh, this will make you uh, uh, to understand this is the C sharp uh, code if you uh, declare under the at the rate symbol this is what the razor view uh, consider that it is C sharp code so here only we going to add our local variable okay channel okay so here I'm uh, defining my go freelancer okay then by the at the rate symbol okay I call uh, it here and as well as here okay again I will uh, refresh my page yes so you can able to see the uh, this so this is the way uh, to declare the local variable and you can uh, declare uh, multiple of local variable or uh, if you want to do some increment process yes you can initialize the variable here so by using the at the rate uh, symbol wherever in the uh, razor view you can manipulate and you can make uh, that whatever the C sharp uh, code that you want to write that you can achieve in a razor view hopes you understand thanks for watching the video guys it's very simple so you can go on to try and you can implement this in your project to make it a better um, way of uh, execution so thanks for watching the video guys if you're not subscribe our channel before please subscribe our channel you have a subscribe button in a YouTube below if you see the video under that there is a red blog of subscribe button that you can click on the get the updates whatever I am trying to upload regularly in a future session